What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be um, installing and you know reviewing the uh, Turbo Rev9 TX 6260 or 6062 and this is the OB, OBDX or OBX uh, top mount twin scroll um, manifold for the Genesis Coupe. So I got it and the runners are right, I think, because it goes, so it goes one, two, it goes into the first, and then, well, I mean three, and then two, four, goes into one side. But it's actually not top mount. It's actually a fucking bottom mount thing. So eh, we're going to see if it works because that's a pretty big turbo to be bottom mounted. But the turbo, though, was $300, something like that. And that was like 400 And honestly, the turbo, flawless. It's it's so good. It has like no, no play at all, no shaft play at all. Compared to this... This is really messed up. And look at that little bitty ass turbine compared to this big old boy. So, you know, this, I'm gonna make it up, match it up. I mean, sorry, and see how it goes. And I'll bring you guys back. All right, here we go again with another review, I guess. So, this one is not very good. <laughs> um, OBX, which I think is the company. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, OBX was the company that made um, this turbo manifold, as you can see right there, OBX. Um, I have seen reviews by, I think it was S SFR Racing or Soul, something racing, that this was not a good manifold. But that was a couple of years ago, and I was like, well, maybe they fixed it. You know, let's give it a try. So... I did give it a try. I bought it. I I tried to ask the seller a couple questions before I bought it. And they didn't seem to know anything about the manifold. So I was like, whatever. I guess I'll buy it and check it out myself. Well, to begin with, this is supposed to be a top mount turbo manifold. Well, it's not. This is wrong. It's flipped the other way. So it's basically a bottom mount turbo manifold. That's the first problem. Second problem, it's supposed to be a twin scroll turbo manifold. And for a four cylinder, they usually go uh, first and fourth to one hole, and then these two to another one. I think that's how it goes. I'm not 100% sure. But on this one, they have one and three going into this one right here, and then four and two going into this one right here that's another problem which technically i mean you could take it to a shop and fix it flip this and flip around the stuff and fix it but another problem comes here if this is supposed to be a front i mean not a front sorry a top mounted turbo manifold it's gonna go this facing forward so you have a waste gate here you're gonna run a pipe from this waste gate all the way down to this way instead of putting this one right here right coming out this way which is easier to connect to the downpipe and then this one on the side right here which is easier to connect to the downpipe so all in all this is trash um i'm gonna return it it was not a really waste of time i kind of i'm glad i bought it because now i can tell people hey don't buy it it's trash so it is what it is and then they sent these gaskets horrible as well, like horrible. But I mean, whatever, you know, I'm not gonna bash them anymore. Now moving on, this is a 60, TX62 slash 60. Uh, it's a 62 millimeter turbo, I think. Um, It was $300 by Rev9 and the best purchase I've had so far absolutely no type of play smooth real smooth um the quality is not bad the only thing is really really heavy it's like 25 pounds but other than that 
great. So do recommend that. Do not recommend that. Now, I just ordered a full race twin scroll manifold, which I'm going to review and try to put it on when it gets here with that turbo. So, you know, subscribe to see that. <laughs> the, the turbo manifold was like $1,300. The full race one is it, really expensive. But, you know, here the journey begins to a big turbo genesis, which I told myself I wasn't going to do it. I told myself I wasn't going to spend more money on the genesis. But here we are. Here we are again. So, we'll return this. Put that on the other manifold. Hopefully it works. I'm going to get some... Tell West Gates, some 38 millimeters, and it tell um both of the power goal is probably like 350 or maybe 400 to the wheel, which is pretty high up there for the engine I have. Um, but I'm just gonna run it like that till the uh, engine blows, and then I'm gonna completely build an engine and full send it, maybe like 600 horsepower to the wheel. Who knows? Um. I am going to be ordering a thousand cc injectors, dynamic injectors, and I am going to be ordering a uh, whole tech ECU to tune it and a uh, fuel pump. So those videos are coming up next. And um, I order a stage four clutch kit with everything, the slave, everything, flywheel, everything. And this should come in, well, the new one, the one that's, cause this one was like $400. So I'm gonna return this cause those are $400. The one that was like, 1300 comes in maybe in like a week i'm not sure uh, they haven't even given me a tracking number yet hopefully it gets here soon though but that'll be all for today's video love the turbo an amazing turbo can't wait to put it on and see how it goes can't wait to see my pistons fly to the galaxy and then this is just absolute trash you know, I would have thought by the years they would already fix all the problems. You know, it's been years and years since they threw these out there. And, yep, it's still trash. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. There's a lot of content coming. And the 350C will be coming soon. I know I keep saying that. But it's going to come to the channel. Peace out.